everyone. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be looking at how to upload and then use a custom font in Squarespace. Uh, you might want to do this if you've got a particular font that's part of your branding or a particular font that you want to use for effect that's not one of the settings um, already provided for you by Squarespace. Um, if you're looking for a font, you could try uh, fontsquirrel.com. These are all free fonts that are licensed for commercial use. So if you've got a business website or something, you're going to need a font that you can use for commercial use. Or there's Creative Market, which you do have to pay for these fonts, but they're just a little bit nicer, a bit more premium, and some of them actually are really, really gorgeous. So this is a good place to go and look if you want to find a custom font as well. So that's creativemarket.com or fontsquirrel.com. But once you've found your, found your font, um, you're going to go into Squarespace. There are four different types of text. Well, there's five, but we're going to be looking at just four of them um, today. There is H1, or first headings, H2, second headings, H3, third headings, and then body, or paragraph text. Um, I've put them all in this section, and I've labelled them so you can see uh, which is which. Um, and I'll show you what effect that has when we add the custom font. So you're going to go to design, custom CSS, and the first thing that you want to do is that you want to upload your font. So we're going to go first to manage custom files, add images or fonts, select my font, and upload. I'm just going to paste in that bit of CSS. You can copy and paste straight from the blog post, and I'll put it in the description below this video as well. The first thing you want to do is give your font a name. So in this case, my font's called Manhattan, so I'll just keep it simple and call it Manhattan on Squarespace as well. And now the font URL, I'm going to delete this text here, and it's best to make sure that your cursor is in the right place when you do this. Because wherever your cursor is, when you click on your name of your font in a second, it's going to insert the URL there. So you want it to be right there. Click, and in it goes. So now I've told Squarespace that I want to call this font Manhattan, and I've told it where it can find the font file. What I need to do now is I need to assign it to one of my heading styles, whether that's H1, H2, H3, or my body and paragraph text. And the way that we do that, in this case, I'm going to do H1. So that's my first heading. That's normally the biggest heading on your site. Is H1, my brackets, font, hyphen, family, colon. And then the name that you gave the font here. So that, is, in my case, is Manhattan. Semicolon on the end. And as you can see, my H1 here has already changed. What you can do is you can make this H2. You can see it's changed on the right, H3, or my body text. So I'm going to stick to H1. I can make other changes to it. I could do font hyphen size. Um, let's try 30 pixels. You can see it going smaller, um, something like 70, it's pretty big. This is pushed down now because the text on top of my banner here, that's also a H1. So if you do this, it will change all the H1s, all the first headings on your website. So I'm going to make that a bit smaller. Let's say we'll do um, 55. Okay. So that's how you can change the size. You can play around with other things as well. If you're new to CSS, maybe you try color. You can just type in a basic color or you can put in a particular um, a particular hex code. Let's say, um, go make it blue. I'm gonna keep it black for now. Um, maybe space out the letters, letter hyphen spacing. Make sure you're putting your colon and your semicolons in. And I could do the one pixel spacing. If I do something like five, you can see they spread out quite a lot more. Um, I'm just going to go for two, I think. Um, and something a little bit different, text shadow. 
So adding a text shadow, you're going to put in two values and then you're going to put in a colour. So the way this works is that your first value is sort of the x-axis. So for every pixel that you put in, the shadow will go one pixel to the right. So if I was to put in, for example, four, you can see that moves quite a lot to the right. If I wanted it to go to the left, then I put in a negative value. So that would be negative four over there. I'm going to put in just two, I think. And then my second value is sort of the, the y-axis, the up and down. Again, you put a number in to how far down it goes. If I put in a negative number, it goes upward. I think I'll just go minus 2. Actually, you know, I'm just going to stick with 1 on both of them. And then here I've just typed in a colour. It's given me quite a basic purple, but in this example it doesn't look too bad. kind of matches my head up there. But I could do green, I could do red, or I could put in a hex code uh, to do that's a very very light, it's not really come up, but let's go, let's go back to purple. Okay, so those are just a few different options of how you can mess around, maybe change the text, make it even more suited to what you want. Um, I hope that was clear for everybody. That is how you upload a custom font and then how you make it appear on your site. If you want to know anything else, if you've got any other questions about Squarespace, any other SOSs, um, leave it in the comments below or you can go over to my blog and leave a comment there. I'll be uploading a new video every week. Um, so yeah, give me a like, a subscribe, uh, let me know what you want to find out about. Thanks guys.